So the Calgary Police Service Homicide Unit is investigating a suspicious death in the community of Crescent Heights. At approximately 4.20 a.m. this morning, police were called to an area of 12th Avenue Northeast and Centre Street North for a report of a man who appeared to be in medical distress in a stopped vehicle. Upon arrival, our officers found a vehicle with bullet holes in it and a deceased man inside. A firearm was also seized at the scene, uh, and though investigators are still working to ter determine if that uh, it, uh, item is connected to the incident. An autopsy is scheduled for Friday, February 24, 2017, to determine the man's cause of death. This morning, investigators also identified a potential second scene at a residence located in the 200 block of 10th Avenue Northeast. We now have officers that have secured uh, that premise while investigators are working to determine what has occurred. Centre Street was closed for most of the morning uh, for the investigation, however the road has been reopened since. Anyone with information about this incident is asked to contact police at the non-emergency number 403-266-1234 or contact Crime Stoppers anonymously. Information is extremely limited as it, it is early in the investigation, but I can take any questions you may have. Can you elaborate on why that second scene is of interest? There was some preliminary intelligence at the scene that suggested there may be a connection uh, between the two scenes, but it's very early in the investigation to even confirm if there's a connection between the two. Can you say whether the firearm was involved in, in this incident or anything about it? Uh, we can't really make that determination at this point. That'll form the basis of the investigation. Certainly one of the questions that we want answered as well. Was it targeted? Is that something that you're looking at? Uh, you know, it's difficult to say at this point, again, because it is fairly preliminary in the investigation. Uh, suffice it to say that nothing's to indicate that this was a random uh, incident at this point. We're not concerned about public safety in general. Can you say if the victim was known to police? Uh, but we don't have those details yet. As I said, the identity of the individual and the cause of death will be determined at the autopsy. Right. Were neighbours at that second scene able to say there was some type of party the previous night or anything like that, or there was some type of disturbance? I have no information to suggest uh, that neighbours have any information to that effect. That will, again, be part of the pending investigation. The second scene, is that in relation to suspects? Is that something that you're looking into? Can you give us any information on that? Yeah, we can't be certain for sure if it's related to suspects, witnesses, uh, whomever. So that will, again, be part of the investigation that we, as we flush out those details. Yeah, just some, just some preliminary intelligence that was gathered at the scene from the first scene uh, led investigators to that second uh, area. Again, difficult to determine when and if there's any connection between the two locations. We're working on that right now. <clears throat> this obviously happened in the middle of an intersection. Uh, there's banks everywhere as well. Have police been looking at surveillance in the area? Absolutely, that'd be one of the investigative avenues that we'll follow up. It's a busy thoroughfare uh, close to the downtown core, so invariably there, there might have been other witnesses as well, and we appeal to those individuals that have information or were in the vicinity at the time to come forward to, to police. Were there witnesses that saw what happened at that intersection, and what have they been seeing? Uh, we were prompted to the scene uh, by uh, one initial witness who provided an account of an individual who appeared to be in medical distress in a vehicle parked in the middle of that intersection and investigators are working with that individual to find out what other information they may have. Is that individual driving or was that a neighbor? You know what, I'm not really sure. I don't have that information. Is there any indication that this car was stolen at all? Uh, we haven't confirmed uh, those details yet.